most days I don't really have breakfast, so I go with something like this. Um, so it saves me going down to the, like obviously the, the breakfast hall, or you know, some rice pudding or whatever, just to make sure I get some like carbs in before I race. Uh, other than that, you know, I try and keep quite light, definitely light on my stomach. But as soon as you wake up, racing's on your mind, you're gonna be nervous anyway, so as long as you get something, normally a black coffee and some porridge does it. training pool 50 meters and this is where we all sit when we race so you've got one team there just there one team over there um, and another team over there another team over there obviously to keep social dif distancing so this is a competition pool behind me uh, this is obviously 25 meters and you've got another 25 meters as another warm-up pool yeah nice one Mel cheers uh, yeah, normally back home we do, is it six sessions short course we do? At the moment, yeah. At the moment, yeah, I mean during lockdown we did 10 sessions or nine sessions short course. Uh, well, a lot. We did a lot short course. Um, so we're obviously trying to build through this now. Uh, in Budapest 2017, this was obviously long course. Um, oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but obviously the two teams share this, you've got one team one side, one team this side during the training of the six weeks and obviously you can see the boxes.
have to think that the man has a chance to break the world record right here. I've had so many people text me and tweet at me and say, hey, he was 54-8 on the relay. That, the world record's only 55-6. Well, that was with a flying start. But with a flying start, that's about a half a second. Half a second to six tenths. So yeah, he definitely has a shot. So does Shimanovich. Well now, welcoming into the studio, Adam PT, the fastest man in the planet over 100 meter breaststroke, world record holder, Adam. What an incredible day for you. How do you reflect on it? Because it's been a very busy one. I mean, I mean, yeah, busy is an understatement. You know, you've got to go through four, four prelims and it's quite difficult when you know, you're against people who are coming in here in very different positions, very different quarantine regulations. So on the first kind of three matches, I was like, okay, there's something wrong. I don't know what it is. Uh, I've absolutely trained my ass off, <laughs> you know, for the whole of quarantine. I was on the bike every single day. I was in the gym in my garage every single day. And we had a really good block into this meet. And I was like, you know what? I feel very confident. I'm stronger than ever. I'm more powerful than ever. I've got a great team, so we're looking at the little numbers, but something isn't quite right. And Mel was just like, you know what? Just rest, <laughs> just rest. Cause I've been going, 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 going. Had my little boy and then I've been going, going, going. Had like two days off, three days off. So I came here with an intention to do really well but I didn't get that till semi-finals. And that's what I'm talking about as an athlete. You're gonna have to wait sometimes for the gratification, but when you do wait for it, it's, it's the most beautiful thing and most kind of, uh, I don't know, there's not a word for it. It's just, just that. It's like, you know what, this is worth it. And tonight, you know, Ilya put up a good fight, very good technically, um, and very good on the, you know, the pace as well. And I don't think I could have done, done it without him pacing off him. Well, when you, when you got the world, world record, do all of the memories of the hard work you've put into swimming cut flood into your brain, all the sacrifices you've made, and suddenly you're the fastest man on the planet. Of course, yeah. I mean, Mel always says, um, you know, I've got 10 years of background, 11 years of background, so a few days rest ain't gonna do any harm. <laughs> you know, I've absolutely, you know, I'd like to say I've tried the hardest I've ever, ever tried. You know, going eight each year, I find something else to try harder on. And, um, you know, I, tonight that kind of took me back down to when I trained at Derby at 4am in the morning when I trained at Repton all the way into the Olympics short course and on that last 25 I was like you know what if if someone's there doesn't matter if they're a little bit in front or with me I know I've got that and I know I've got those kind of feelings I've got that you know training in there and it's in here as well and you know at the end of the day that's what counts. And a half points on top. Does he do sort of like Schuster did and manage this race?
Sydney? Yeah. Doesn't he? We're not done here at the Beard Oil Arena. Of them still 0.62, 0.64. Shimanovich will probably have the slight edge into and out of the turn. No, it's Petey. Look at that. Wow. Petey says, No way. You're not.